Good morning, hunties and hunkles. I don't know if you can see, but my face is so red. Right now, I'm doing spot treatment with this microneedling roller that I picked up from Charette Cosmetics. I've been getting all of my skincare from Charette Cosmetics. They are so good. I love their products, and I've been learning so much on this skincare journey i got microneedling for the first time when i got my chemical peel it hurt so much but i most definitely noticed a lot of amazing changes in my skin it reduces scars reduces fine lines and wrinkles reduces pore sizes there's just so anti-aging benefits it even fights stretch marks so it might do some microneedling on my stomach. Now I have these two dark spots right here. A lot of people were like, oh, Toya, you bleached your skin and blah. No, I don't. I've never bleached my skin. The most I've ever done was try to bleach my elbows. They're dry right now because I just got out the shower. And my knees and a few scars. But I never like took a bottle of lotion and like oiled myself up with bleach. I would never do that. So um, my mom told me, which I don't think is true, but she said that when she, was, when she was giving birth to me, when she was pushing me out, the doctor had to go in with a silver gadget. I don't know if I told you guys before, but the doctor had to go in with this silver tool and pull me out of her vagina because it was so big. Well, because my head was so big. <laughs> So that's how I got these dark marks. I don't think that is true. I don't know. I think these are birthmarks. Okay, I think I was just born with it. So I've been microneedling my pimples. I'm about to start my cycle. I break out every single time I'm about to start my cycle. So that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, it hurts. Yes, baby. Aya! Aya! Yes, Mom! Come here! Huh? Hi, baby! Where's your roller? Go get your roller, your pink roller! Pink roller? Yeah, where is it? So I'm at Charette Cosmetics and I'm about to get laser hair removal. I get laser underneath my armpits, half face. Yeah, I grow hair on my jawline and my neck after having kids. You grow hair out of your freaking eyeballs. It's crazy. I also get laser hair on my vagina. I used to get ingrown hairs on my vagina. I know that's too much information. It's TMI. But I used to get ingrown hairs and I used to, you know, pick them out and like play with the hairs. <laughs> and I kind of miss that because I don't get ingrown it's wild for me although I enjoyed picking up my ingrowns I don't have them anymore and it's a bitter sweet feeling that I'm going through right now so anyways let's start the process Ugh, I'm just waiting for Shayna so I'm getting laser hair on my legs currently and I keep freaking out thinking it's going to hurt but it doesn't hurt at all like I'm scarred I'm traumatized from my experiences in the past and they burnt me one time on my knee and I have the scar on my knee still so I'm trying to remove that as well anyways I'm getting my laser hair done but yeah even in the process of like pitching this laser to patients they're like you know they'll buy in but they're like still thinking this is gonna hurt this is gonna hurt yeah it's down to when they're on the like, treatment what? table mm -hmm. that they're still very like nervous about the treatment yeah and when we start they're like holy crap you know yeah they're shocked they're right shocked. They're like, no lie like you're not kidding yeah this is pain free that's crazy and then when they start seeing the results they're like and it works and, and it works it's <laughs> pain it free works. and it works instantly you know, yeah. i started seeing results my first Trust, treatment almost yeah if i can um, put a number out there maybe 80 percent yeah percent of my patients will see changes i'm like in no. the first session yeah i did Shana, it didn't go back the way like it took some time yeah and granted, i got my hair back because it's just first session but they're like oh my god it yeah. took longer it took longer to grow back some areas were spotty for you yeah. know some time 
But like with me, good. I was telling my hunties that mm -hmm. I, you know, got ingrown hairs on my vagina. Yeah. And um, I don't have those ingrowns anymore. A lot of us women deal with that. Mm -hmm. That's like number one. Right. Yeah. It's a bittersweet yeah. feeling for me because I enjoyed picking my ingrowns. Oh my God. <laughs> you are not alone though. You're not alone. Yo. I it's, got a handful of them. I'm like, you better stop. It's fun. And I think I would wear these glasses as sunglasses. They are they fly? Yeah, they're fly. I, I love them. I always want to wear those. They're so <laughs> cute. But I give them to you guys. They look cuter. I you like know, them. Oh, them. please. You're cute on... Those are cute on you, too. <laughs> I do like these. <laughs> those are mom. Come on now. Okay, 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 okay. Hunty's been asking me, how do I make my vegan lentil soup? Well... In today's vlog, I'm going to show you how I make it. I'm going to give you the secret sauce, Latoya's secret recipe, okay? But first, we have to go to the grocery store and pick up some vegetables to add to the lentil soup because I've been making it so much in my house that I ran out of veggie. So let's head to Publix. I'm loving my hair. I love the side part more than the middle part. So cute. What do y'all think? Do you like this length? One of my hunties on Instagram was like, it's giving grown. Thank God she didn't say it's giving old because short hair does make me look older. It does make me look old and tingy. Let go, baby. Oh, no. Let go, baby. <laughs> Let go, baby. No. Oh, you ate all your Oreos? Did you like it? Was it good? <laughs> okay, hunties, I'm in Whole Foods right now because I am making my famous lentil soup for you guys. Everyone on Instagram has been asking me about this lentil soup and how do I make it, what is the secret sauce. So I'm here getting all of the ingredients that I need. Well, all the vegetables because I have all the spices at home, but I'm out of the vegetables because I've been making it every other day. It's so good and you guys know that I've been vegan for 11 days. I've been on a detox and I feel amazing. And I don't think I'm going back to me right now anyways. I'm just loving this healthy lifestyle. And I just feel really good about this change, okay, in my diet. So right now I'm getting some Celery. I need celery that's already cut up, but I was looking over there and it's expensive to get it cut up, so you might as well just cut it yourself, right? So that's celery. And then I need, no, I have carrots at the house. I'm just gonna get them just in case, y'all. Okay, here we go. Oh, I need some fresh thyme. I like to put fresh thyme in my lentil soup as well. Sorry. Oh, I also need cantaloupe. I ate all of our cantaloupe, y'all. Time. Okay, the really chill. Time. Fresh time. Oh my gosh. So I bought this same squeezer on Amazon for $14.99. It's $6 here. What? Oh, I need measuring cups because you guys are gonna hate me if I don't use measuring cups. I'm a Trinidadian woman. I thought that, you know, the world is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was something else. Um, I, they sell clothes in here? Okay, Whole Foods. It's called Whole Body, how cute. Um, I free pour all of my seasoning. I don't measure anything. I think that's a Trinidadian and I think that's a Caribbean and African thing. We just do, 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 shake it all in there and then taste it. And if it tastes right, and if our taste buds like it, we love it. Okay, hunties, I'm in the kitchen. I had to pull my hair up because we're in the kitchen. It's about to get real hot up in here. Anyways, I'm about to cut up the onion, the celery, and the carrots. Y'all, I'm about to put you on to my lentil soup. You're going to be addicted. So if you're trying to lock it down with your bae, with your significant other, with your dude or girl that you are dating, 
trust me, make them this lentil soup, have them try it, and they'll be addicted for life. I'm telling you. So I have one whole red onion that I just cut in half, and I'm going to dice it. I have four celery sticks here, and I have four carrots. Now, I lost my peeler. I don't know where it's at, so I had to peel the skin off of the carrot with a sharp knife. And then I have a lime that I'll cut in half later, and we'll squeeze some lime juice in the lentil soup. So let me go ahead and prep our veggies, okay? Y'all, my nails aren't done. My two middle fingers popped off because I flip people off on the road. Just kidding. All right, but I need them done. Bruh. I'm over here cutting like Kendall. No, mom, it's, it's fine. I, I, I got this, mom. I can cut a cucumber. We don't, we don't need the chef. Not at all. We don't need a chef to cut up my... Yeah, mom, it's fine. I don't need the chef. Uh, I'll just cut it up. Uh, why, was she, why was she holding it like this, though? Like, even I can cut a freaking onion, okay? right here that I use I believe I picked them up from Whole Foods or Publix it's by Greenwise you guys these lentils are organic I used half of the bag already all you need is half unless you want to feed what 20 people so we're gonna cook half of the bag today it doesn't look like much but trust me when I'm finished you'll see like your mama your daddy your cousins your grand parents you know what i'm saying everybody can come over for dinner off half of the bag this is the pot that we will be using to cook our lentil soup okay it's from william sonoma and it's the s can pan it don't look like a pan to me but it's called s can pan so i'm just gonna take my lentils i'm gonna pour it into the pot now you don't have to wash the lentils, but I like washing my lentils, you guys. I wash it until the water looks clear to me. So it's kinda foggy. Yeah, all that excess crap in there, like I just want lentil beans. Okay. Okay, right now I'm gonna fill up the pot with water and it's going to be as high as my index finger okay so keep that in mind that's how high we want it since we are making lentil soup so that's how we measure it well that's how i measure it anyway and i like to fill it up with hot water so it boils faster because whenever i cook i'm always hungry and i want everything to be prepared fast okay we are good to go okay you guys so this dish takes about 30 minutes to make it's so fast it's so easy a lot of people have trouble making lentils and i don't know why but i mastered it for you guys so you guys don't have those issues okay so my pot right now is on high it's on high right now and then after it comes to a boil i'm going to turn it down on low Okay, but it still has to 
bubble like the water still has to bubble when it's on low so you know it's being you know cooked one tablespoon of extra olive oil i'm just gonna put it in my soup here okay make sure these lentils aren't sticking anywhere because that has happened to me a few times laurie's seasoning salt can you guys see that why is it blurry oh hell no Lari's seasoning salt, garlic powder, basil, onion powder, cumin, cayenne pepper, black pepper, dry thyme, and I also use fresh thyme. Oh my gosh, I forgot the main ingredient. Okay, so we're doing curry lentil soup. I love curry everything. So I use chief curry powder. This is a product of Trinidad and Tobago. My mom sends me this. I think that you can get it online or in the international supermarket. You can most definitely get your hands on Chief. This is the best curry powder that I've ever tried. Okay, and it's from my, my island. And Ting is a truly good. And if you want your curry lentils to turn out amazing and tasty you guys need this curry powder in your life i've been using this my whole life how did i forget the garlic y'all so i want to take about six garlic cloves let me just smash them down for you guys real quick i remove the ends of the garlic i'm gonna smash it down Ugh. my mom usually beats it with a can <laughs> Everyone does this differently. Some people cook up their curry and then add the lentils in the water and the chicken broth and the vegetable broth. I'm telling you, everyone does it differently, so don't judge me, okay? All right, so I'm gonna turn on this pan right here. It bubbles up real fast. So I can add my garlic right now. I can add my onions. I just added a handful of onion and about two garlic Close. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add our extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to add about three tablespoons of olive oil, okay? So one, two, okay, so I just added four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to turn it on. I'm gonna turn on the stove now on medium. And then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of curry powder. So I'm gonna cook this for about four minutes. so good already. And basically cooking the curry powder releases all of the flavors. Yeah, so I just turned down the stove a little bit between medium and low because I don't want my onions and garlic or the curry to burn, you know? Because you'll get that burn taste, which is disgusting. And I've done that before. Yes. Alright, so the lentils are almost out of boil, and then that's what I'm going to start seasoning. You have to watch the curry so it doesn't burn, okay? That's important. If the garlic or onion start to get black, mm -mm, start again. Oh my gosh. A piece of chicken in there right now would be so blessed. Okay, the so curry to our lentil soup. So I added that, now I'm about to season it up real nice. Curry stains, so you guys be careful with your clothes, okay? I got all of this one. Trying to make this video. So I'm going to take one tablespoon of Lari seasoning salt and add it to our lentil soup. Add it tablespoon of garlic powder. 
a teaspoon of onion powder. Teaspoon. I'll take a half a teaspoon of cumin. You don't want to overdo it with the cumin because it's a strong spice. Okay, cayenne pepper, like literally a quarter tablespoon. You don't even have to add the cayenne pepper. Like if you don't like spice, don't add cayenne pepper, but it's just so tasty and I love everything spicy. Here, you guys have to see this. Sorry, I was not showing you guys it go in. My bad. My bad. And then we're just gonna add some black pepper, like five shakes. One, two, three, four, five. How I shook it is probably about 10. <laughs> And then we're gonna add basil. One, two, three, four, five. Five seconds of basil. Getting a call, but we cannot answer that right now. And then we're gonna stir that around. I'm gonna go ahead and add some shakes of thyme. One, two, three four five <laughs> i know my measuring sucks you guys we're gonna go ahead and add some fresh thyme so i'm gonna add one two three pieces of fresh thyme and as that's cooking oh so right now i'm going to turn down our soup to about between medium and low and we still want it to boil, but we don't want it to boil too fast because we don't want it to burn. Okay, so right now I'm just adding the garlic, the carrots, the celery, and the onion. Mm, you're making a whole mess, y'all. So it's been about it's been about 15 minutes. This is about to cook real fast and real good. Okay, you guys. So our lentils are boiling. I'm just gonna add some water to this pan right here to just pick up all the flavors from our curry and the reason why I use hot water is because if I use lukewarm or cold it's gonna affect the boiling process and I don't want it to stop boiling okay so I use hot water during this process you want to taste your lentil soup to see if we need any more flavor so right now I know there's a lot of water in it because I want it to be an actual soup that I can drink. Okay, so let's taste it. Okay, so mm, it tastes good. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more Lari seasoned salt. I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna add a half a tablespoon of Lari seasoned salt because it needs some more salt. Okay. And I'm just gonna stir it. And then I'm gonna taste it one more time. Yeah. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's good. So basically, it's good. <laughs> it's lit. It's lit. Okay. It's boom. So I'm just gonna leave it alone for about 15 more minutes and then we'll come back to the pot. So I'll come back in about 15 minutes and I'll taste the soup again while all the flavors marinate together and combine and love on each other i'll taste it and then i'll see if it needs any more seasoning salt or garlic or cayenne pepper because i love spice okay those are the only three ingredients that i'll add if i feel like it needs more flavor and Jalen is on the phone hi you can't even see me bro. hi Jalen. hi yo i'm making lentil soup and it's so good right now What's lentil soup? What is that? It's a vegan dish. Lentil oh, curry soup is amazing, and you need to try it the next time you're here. Okay, I'll try it the next time. I'll, I'll come over there and vegan. That's fine. Why do you sound stuffy? <sighs> because I'm 
because I got sick. How did you get sick? Because one thing about it, I overworked myself. You do. You're so hardworking. I'm inspired by you. Thank you. Love you, friend. Yeah. Love you. Overworked, so that's what happened. But I feel a lot better, though. That's good. Well, you look good. As long as you look good. Thanks. <laughs> Lime. Stir it in there. Mmm. It's delicious. It's so good. Mmm. Yummy. Y'all. My lentil soup. Mm, 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 mm. That I spilled it. It's so delicious. Mm. Woo! I ain't gonna cap it down. This right here is lit. Mm. So good. After that hot sauce was added, so good. Right, let me shut up and eat my food because mm, it's so good. Mm. A lot of hunties are like, a lot of hunties were like, I can't stand how you chew your food. You be smacking. Listen, I smack when the food is good, okay? delicious mm. Mm. The curry is so good mm -hmm. the best vegan lentil soup okay best don't at me, bruh. It's the best. Mm. Anyways. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to give it a thumb. Anyways, you guys. Thank you so much. Ah. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And you better try my lentil soup recipe because it is amazing. It's so freaking good. Okay. Anyways, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Did I already say that? Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Be sure to try my lentil soup because it's bomb. Well, you can't try it here, but you can make the recipe at home. Thumbs up this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more vlogs. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye. lip.